How does he get a free pass? What are you doing here? Oh, pardon me, ma'am? You can go to CC, you can go to the parliament. We can and, go to the parliament. And complain about him. So you can come to our province and... Oh, sorry, who, who are you? Who are you? I'm no. David Menzies with Rebel News. No, you, can, you cannot do that. You okay. cannot come and disturb. Is there a law says that we cannot go to visit the MP's office you in Canada? You cannot by appointment. It's very clearly he's saying by appointment. Please take your appointment and go to his office. Well, he doesn't return he doesn't my calls or emails, ma'am, so... You can send him an email. You can send him an email. Are you his secretary? I'm not his secretary. Okay. Are you... Uh, are you the, uh, have you written the laws that what we should do or we should not do? No, I have not written the laws. So is this you your know? office, right? Yes. So what what is your business in that section of the What is holiday? your business? If you have anything complain about him, we have a parliament, you can go and complain okay. then. Are you a supporter of Majid Johari, ma'am? Very much, 100%. Oh, really? Well, why I, is that? Yes, yes, 100% I'm a supporter. And this is an MP that supports the Iranian regime. Do you it's support the Iranian regime? It's all nonsense because the government knows who to select. David Menzies for Rebel News here in Richmond Hill, Ontario. Well, folks, you may recall the name of Zara Kazemi. She was the Iranian-Canadian freelance photographer who in 2003 was arrested in Tehran, Iran. She was subsequently beaten, tortured, raped, and even murdered. And if you can imagine, uh, one of the that the head of the Tehran police force at the time was Morteza Talahi, and he recently visited Canada, and he got in. He was welcomed as a tourist. We have footage of him working out at a gymnasium in Richmond Hill, and it's absolutely mind-boggling why someone who quite literally has blood on his hands in terms of a, a Canadian citizen somehow gets into Canada. Meanwhile, I understand that law-abiding Iranians uh, are having an increasingly difficult time getting visas to visit Canada. Absolutely preposterous. Well, anyways, there's a small group of protesters outside the office of Liberal MP Majid Johari. Uh, they feel that this uh, Tehran police chief should not have been welcomed to Canada. On the contrary, he should have been detained arrested and charged with crimes, which of course did not happen. He has since left Canada, but the question arises, how was he able to get into our great dominion in the first place? Why is he getting the free pass in regarding the death of a Canadian citizen? I'm going to talk to these uh, demonstrators and see what they have to say. And I will visit Majid Johari's office and see what he has to say, although I'm not confident he's going to say anything, which is business as usual for that MP. Well, as I said in the introduction, folks, uh, the, the small group of demonstrators, they are very upset that the fact that a Iranian official who quite literally has blood on his hands when it comes to Zahra Kazemi was allowed into Canada and um, apparently... Uh, our Iranian citizens who are law-abiding have a very hard time of uh, even getting a visa to visit Canada. Now, I'm with Nasser Pooley. We've uh, had Nasser on our uh, program before. So, Nasser, here we are outside Majid Johari, the Liberal MP for Richmond Hill, his office. Um, why are you demonstrating in front of his office, and what are you planning to do today? Basically, our plan is uh, we have a letter for him. We just read it a little while ago. I will uh, give you the copy of it if you want to translate it or whatever, you, or later on I can translate it for you. But uh, the short point of it is we are here. He's an MP, mm -hmm. and he's uh, from the Liberal Party. Mm -hmm. Since the Liberal Party has come to power, we have seen that a lot of Iranian regime members IRGC, uh, they come with a lot of money with their family. In Iran, they don't allow democracy for Iranian people, but they come in here, they go, uh, they wanna use, uh, they wanna have the benefit of the democracy. But right now, my question is, what are you gonna do about the regime members in Canada? Are you still is go are you still gonna defend the Iranian regime? 
or you are going to take action. And he's not the only one that will come to his office. Also, Ali Ehsasi is an MP for Iranian from Villadel, is a liberal party. We have to, this has to stop. The, the Trudeau government has to stop. They work for us. We pay them. They are our employee. Well, Nasser, we'll follow you in. Um, I can tell you I've been here before. Uh, they tend to do two things. They lock the door and don't speak to me, and then they call the York Regional Police Department. I don't see any police cruisers, so so far so good. So let's see if you have better luck okay. than I've had in Definitely. the past. This letter that we have basically written it, yeah. and I'm going to sign it front of you guys, okay. so they don't deny that, oh, we, uh, there was no signature, there was no date, we didn't know who it came from. Yeah. That's why I didn't put nothing in here. It's empty, in, in uh, like, bottom is without a signature. Okay. I'm going to sign it in here, hand it to them. Let's see what action they are going to take against the Iranian regime members are in Canada. The office you have seen, they cover their windows. <laughs> Is this what we are paying for? Really? <laughs> we, we taxpayers, we are paying for this gentleman and his office is supposed to be open for public. Nasser, let's rewind uh, this story to how it emerged in the first place. Morteza Talalia was indeed, Talayi, Talayi yes. sorry, was uh, with the Tehran police force. He was head of the police force. Head of the police force yes. back in 2003. That was when Zara Kazemi, the Canadian, the Iranian Canadian freelance photographer, Correct. was arrested for doing your job. Tortured, yeah. sexually assaulted, Anything that you can name it. And eventually I'm murdered. At the end, they murdered her, and they didn't even return her body to her son in Montreal. They and, did not. And you would think this would be a wanted man by Canadian authorities, but lo and behold, recently, this individual got into our country, and folks, we have video footage. Here he is working out at a Richmond Hill, Ontario gym. Unbelievable. Check it out. So there he is, pumping iron. He's welcomed as a tourist. And you were telling me off camera that law-abiding Iranians trying to get into Canada, trying to get a visa, they're increasingly running into difficulties. How is it that someone who has blood on his hands, who is responsible for a Canadian citizen being murdered, tortured, raped. How does he get a free pass? What are you doing here? Oh, pardon me, ma'am? You can go to CC, you can go to the parliament. We can I go to the parliament? I complain about him. So you can come to our province and... Oh, sorry, who, who are you? Who are you? I'm no. David Menzies with Rebel News. No, you, can, you cannot do that. You okay. cannot come and disturb. Is there a law says that we cannot go to visit the MP's office you in Canada? You cannot by appointment. It's very clearly he's saying by appointment. Please take your appointment and go to his office. Well, he doesn't return he my doesn't calls or emails, ma'am, so... You can send him an email. You can send him an email. Are you his secretary? I'm not his secretary. Okay. Are you... Are you the, have you written the laws that what we should do or we should not do? No, I have not written the laws. So is this you your know? office, right? Yes. So what, what is your business in that section of the What is holiday? your business? If you have anything to complain about him, we have a parliament, you can go and complain okay. then. Are you a supporter of Majid Johari, ma'am? Very much, 100%. Oh, really? Oh. Why is that? Yes, yes, 100% I'm a supporter. And this is an MP that supports the Iranian regime. Do you it's support the Iranian regime? It's all nonsense because the government knows who to select. So government knows. If they have selected him, they know him. We have a CISIC here, we have a... Security, we have everything they can follow or everything. They know him. And are we, and sir, sir, are we, are we interfering with your office? You are prepared to take, you are not allowed to, to record anything. It's it's is that right? You, can. you are not writing no, no. law. This is a democracy. Democ democ it's a democracy, democ but you cannot, it's time by freedom, out. they cannot do it. Middle, time out, right? Any argument, any conversation, any voices raised, I'm on calls, I'm trying to conduct a business here, have it outside. Um, she caused the commotion, sir. We were doing our own, minding our own business I'm not over here. about what happened. Okay. I'm talking, if there's a conversation that you guys need to have, have it outside my office. Okay. Yeah, we, that's what we were doing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Wow. Yes. Majid Johari, you are a supporter of terrorist Iranian regime, whether you do it uh, directly or indirectly. We are not stupid. We know what you're doing. And we want to know that if you help these terrorist people to get a visa for their family and thousands like him, not just him, they are in Toronto. But I wish he would have just a little bit of a courage to come to say, you know what, get the heck out of here, I'm not answering. That I would respect. But this is really funny. Yeah, we're extending the courtesy for him to give his side of the story. He's not taking us up on the offer. Nasser, thank you for your time, as always. Thank you so much. I did reach out to Immigration, Refugees, and Citizenship Canada way back on February the 2nd. I wanted to know how Mortiza got into Canada. I also wanted to know if there was any sort of arrest warrant out for this individual by Canadian law enforcement. Spokeswoman Jelena Jenko said she'd look into it and get back to me. But a response to my queries was never forthcoming. Every couple of days, I would email Ms. Jenko asking if she was able to track down the answers I was seeking. Her do rigueur response was that she needed more time. Days dragged into weeks. And as of this taping, I still have not received a response from Ms. Jenko, who seems to work at a pace that would make a snail look like a cheetah. But get this, the National Post got wind of this story too, and it made for front page news in last Saturday's edition. The author of the Post story also reached out to Immigration Canada, and he received a response because I guess when you are a government-funded media outlet, well then the government spokes thingies respond in a quicker fashion. Membership has its privileges after all. But the response provided to the National Post journalist from spokesman Jeffrey MacDonald is equal parts outrageous and disgraceful. You see, Mr. MacDonald said his department could not comment on the case because of, quote, privacy laws, end quote. That's right, privacy laws. And so it is that privacy, even for a foreign national, who was allegedly complicit in the rape and murder of a Canadian citizen, trumps public safety. Alas, when it comes to the Justin Trudeau liberals, so much for standing on guard for thee. For Rebel News, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Tell me, do you trust what the mainstream media is reporting? I sure don't. Therefore, if you can, please go to realreporters.ca. That's realreporters.ca. If you're able to, kindly make a donation so that Rebel News can continue to bring you the other side of the story.